Okay, let's go na with files and input output. No? So, kung gagawa ka ng program na kailangan mag-access no, ng printer or kailangan mag-access ng, uh, ng files no, sa labas ng iyong program, then you will need to uh, to have the java.io package no, dun sa iyong program. Kasi kung hindi, magkakaroon ka ng uh, file and recognize exception na error. No? So, under ng input, output, or files, uh, stream, no? or uh, package, meron tayong tatawag na stream. Okay? And this stream supports the uh, any data, no? primitive object localized characters. No? So, we have two types. We have input stream and output stream. Yung input stream, as the name suggests, uh, they are read no? from a source. No? So, ito yung input file mo. Yung output source mo naman is uh, used for writing data to the destination. No? So, we have the source, the program, and the destination. So, Java provides strong but flexible uh, support for input-output related files. No? Byte streams are uh, used to perform input and output of 8-bit bytes. No? Though, there are many classes related to byte streams, but the most frequently used classes are the file input stream and the file output stream. Okay? So, we have the following sample here. So, we declare the variable and the data type is file input stream in and then the out also a data type type but it is in the type of file output stream so all the coming in or the incoming files will be stored in in variable and the all the out, all outcoming uh, output will be stored in the out variable no then we have the uh, uh, example uh, input text and then it will have the output text so this is a constructor no we use the constructor method to uh, input and output uh, data no paano na lamang uh, constructor merong new okay then in TGRC we declare variable c to use a while no so, magpa-function to hanggat yung condition ay uh, true, no? And then, finally, we have the uh, evaluation here for the if and if, okay? To evaluate if the in, the value of in and out are not null, no? Itong symbol na to, if you remember, is not equal ang basa, no? Not equal, Okay, so to determine if the in variable is not null, we use the if uh, evaluation method function. No, <clears throat> character streams we have Java byte streams are used to perform input and output eight byte eight bit bytes, whereas Java character streams are used to perform input and output for sixteen bit Unicode. No, ito yung sa bit streams. No, ito yung nasa taas byte streams. Pag character, medyo mahaba na. Malaki ng lalagyan ng kailangan. No? 8-bit na. Ah, 16-bit. No? So, for this, we use the classes file reader and the file writer. Okay? So, we have the following example here. Okay? So, we have the in and out file reader, file writer. Okay? As their uh, met, uh, class. So we have standard streams, all the programs provide support for standard input where this user's program can take input from a keyboard and then produce an output on the computer screen. Okay, so we have the standard input for the uh, uh, standard uh, keyboard. Yeah. And then we use the system in, system out for the standard uh, user's program computer screen sa monitor. We use the system out, no? Standard error, okay, so ito yung nagko-control, nag-display ng error once na maka-detect siya ng exceptions, okay. And for a simple program which creates input stream reader to read, standard input stream until the user types a Q, okay. So, read console, yung console sinasabi yung keyboard, okay. So, nakita nyo, nag-load siya ng java.io package, Ito para sa input output exception, kung halimbawa hindi nakasaksak yung keyboard, it will 
uh, create an error. Okay, so we we declare a variable C in or console in, and uh, for the type we use the input stream reader. Okay, equals null for as initial value. And then system enters Q to quit. So I did display natin to. And then maghihintay siya. Ito naghihintay na to. Ito yung function niya, naghihintay siya ng uh, input na na uh, ikikiin dapat ng user. Okay? So ito to determine if meron ng laman or null ba yung in-enter ng user. O ito naman is if not Q Ibig sabihin, maghihintay siya until the queue is pressed. Reading and writing files, we have the output stream. Okay. It's used for writing data to a destination. The input stream is used to read data. So, we have the input, output, and we have the different category for each uh, uh, functions. No? So we have the file, byte array, filter, and the object output. We have also the same, but in different direction. Okay. So file info stream stream is used for reading data from the files. And these are the types and method and description for the input stream object. So, ito yung declaration. Pag nakikita kayong ganyan, declaration siya. So, ibig sabihin, itong value na to, ilalagay niya rin sa variable f. Ito naman, itong i-output natin, ilalagay natin sa f. Okay? Dineclare kasi natin to as output stream variable f. So, for the example, file stream test, uh, to stream a, a, a digit or stream uh, information, uh, nilagay natin to as an array. Paano ko nalamang array? Merong uh, bracket sa unahan. And then we declare it as a byte. Okay. <clears throat> and we also created an output stream OS and created a, a use as a constructor to use at uh, to create a text file named test text then we use the for loop no to traverse through the to a series of the array no to evaluate and we use the variable as a index then writes the bytes to the saan ira write sa os aning os ito yon test text Okay. So, i-close natin yung ating file. Ibig sabihin, tapos na natin pag-write kapag nabasa na niya lahat ng laman ng array. Ito. Info stream is new file put stream test text. Ito naman para sa input. So, we declare the is as the input text file test text. So, we use again the loop to read the input the file no So ibig sabihin nito ni load natin sa size yung ating yung laman ni IS which is the test text Paglagay natin sa test text ipiprint siya no yung laman ni ni size which is nilipat natin kay IS nilipat natin si IS sa kay size and then yung laman ni S ni is ay ipiprint natin Okay. Then after that, we will close the file, no. And then input output exception. Kapag may error, magdi-display siya ng message. Okay. So that's how we use the uh, input stream and output stream uh, functions. Okay. File navigation, no. Usually, pag gagawin ng program, kailangan mo mag-navigate sa directories ng iyong system, no, ng computer. So kung may ganong feature ang iyong program, you 
uh, have to use the method make dir and make dirs okay the directory in java is a file which can contain lists of other files and directories you use file object to create directories to list down files available in directory so dito na tayo sa example no so created directory okay so wala tayong tinawag na function dito na sa loob ng main so we create a directory name ito yung kanyang path and then yung path na yon nilagay natin sa file which is called file d okay and then we execute to create the directory okay which is anong directory ki create niya ito ang laman ng directory listen directories we can display the list of directories by using the file or list command okay so main we create the file and uh, declare a null value and we declare a uh, string paths array we use the new file put it in the variable file and then this file file list we make a list and then for each in the path array for string path paths so we uh, from this we print the value then if there's error we print for the stack tracing okay so that's it for our uh, file input uh, functions of Java.